Ake Donut. All right, let's get to uh, King's great Mike Bibby. He joins us here on the Nick Cattle Show, Sports 1140 KHDK. Mike, thank you for the time. It is much appreciated. Before we get to Arco and some of your memories, what were your thoughts on the Tyrese Halliburton trade when it happened? Um, uh, You don't know. I mean, I don't know. Like I, I've always been the type of person that you do what's best, what you think is best for your team, and if it, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, doesn't, you don't know until you do so. I don't know. Um, I don't really know many management right now, but I mean, I mean that's what they thought would make their team better. I mean, they got a they got a great player in Sabonis back, so I know that. When you look at this team, Mike, and, and you see what De'Aaron Fox has done since the trade, do you think that trade ended up being the best thing for his game to get, to get him going? I mean, I don't think De'Aaron Fox needs any help getting going anywhere. I think he's doing a good job, you know, with with what he can. So, I mean, that's all you can really ask for him in, in, in that spot. You know I mean? I think he's the best player on the team. And you need him to do all aspects of the game, score, assist, and rebound. You know what I mean? So that's what you need him to do. As a guy that played in the game for a while, was very successful at the point, what do you think Fox's ceiling is, Mike? How good can he be? I think I mean I think he's great already. You know what I mean I don't, as far as being you you never know. Like I said, I never I'm one of those type of guys like you never know until it gets out there and happens. I mean just like I'm the type of guy like draft picks. Well, why did this guy go before this guy? Because that's what you thought coming out of college was going to happen. You know what I mean you never know until you until it gets out there and happens. But I think he's a great player anyway. Since his first days of playing there, we played against him and. Um, we missed playing against him in the AAU. My son did. So, I mean, it was good that he wasn't there, but I think he's a, he's a great player. He has been from, since he got there, and I think he always will be. Kings all-time great. Mike Bibby is with us here on the Nick Cattle Show. Let's talk about Arco, of course. Obviously, this weekend, fans are saying goodbye to Arco Arena, Mike. Uh, of all the moments you had in Arco, what's the one that stands out the most Good or bad? Is it the nine threes in a game, back-to-back game winners, the Dallas game winner? Which one stands out to you the most? I mean, there's so many. I just – playing in my first playoff game there was crazy. And, I mean, going against the Hall of Famer and John Stockton and, and being with the team that I, that I had with John Stockton and Carl Malone, um, I think that would be my biggest biggest time. I mean, there, I, I had so many, but – I think the biggest one was the shot that I hit um, against the Lakers in game five. No doubt. And, and when you played at Arco, can you just explain to the fans? I mean, the fans are obviously there, and, and they're the ones that are creating all the noise. But you've played in a lot of arenas throughout your career. What was the feel when you were in Arco compared to other places? The, just the, the reaction, the, the noise, how loud it got. Did you feel like it was one of the best arenas in basketball, if not the best? That's the yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to get traded there. I, I, I remember being on the Grizzlies, being in last place of the West. I think I'm pretty sure we were in last place of the West, um, and going there and playing for the last game of the season and having, you know, however many people Arco holds, you know, coming to watch their team play us. You know, you get a lot of teams that, oh, they're not playing a good team, and we we won't go, and that never happened in Arco and. That was one of the reasons why I remember um, the owner, rest in peace, Michael Heisley, came to me and said, "You know, we're gonna we're gonna trade you. We're gonna move. And what place would you want to go?" He gave me five places to pick, and he said, "Give me my top choice." And, Sac- and Sacramento was my top choice, just for the fans, just the fact of playing in front of those fans every night was was a dream of mine. It's a tremendous story. Do, do you get frustrated, Mike? When you see some of these national talking heads, they want the Kings moved. They they want them moved to another city. Do you think that's just unfair to Sacramento and maybe the Sacramento fans don't get enough justice and, and credit for how they are? I mean, I think so. But, I mean, you gotta you got to win. But, I mean, I think Sacramento deserves a team always. But, I mean, you got to win. That's the way it was in Vancouver. The, the fans want to see winning. And, that starts with your organization. you got to bring in what you need to win. Mike Bibby with us here on the Nick Cattle Show, Sports 1140 KHTK. Uh, you go back to April 9th, 2016, Mike, last game ever played at Arco for the Kings. Uh, what, what was your feeling that day? You remember that day? You remember being there? Do you remember you know, how, what you were thinking and how you were feeling? 
I don't. I can't remember yesterday. Uh, that well. so, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, but I mean, I remember going of uh, going there and celebrating the stuff. It was just, I mean, it was nothing like it. You know, I mean, I I think that us and our Lakers series, that's what kind of helped push us over. That was getting us over. The, that would have got us over the top. You know what I mean? So I mean, the greatest fans. I think greatest fans I ever played with in front of in my career for my home team, maybe in, in all of the NBA. Mike, one of my producers, JJ, said to me that you were known to have a few habits around here, like your your famous nail clipping during games. Well, was there a, a ritual or a habit that you always did, a location or a room in Arco that you always loved or a favorite parking spot? Anything, any stories you've got for us as far as you know, maybe being a little superstitious, maybe something that you did habitually at Arco? Um, there was a room I always went in the chapel, you know what I mean? I, that's, I've always, I was always in chapel at, um, at Arco. I really didn't go to the chapel of any of my other places, but, you know, I was at Arco in the chapel with, you know, with the priests and stuff in there. So that's probably, I had to, I had to go there every game. So I could, that, that could be one of my habits. Mike, we thank you for your time. We know that you're a busy guy. We appreciate it. And I'm sure the fans, listeners love hearing you talk about Sacramento and the fact that you chose the Kings back then when you were asked for your five top possibilities, you you put the Kings up at the top of the list. And uh, hopefully we have some of those days again that you were able to kind of live through here soon. Thanks a lot, Mike. We appreciate you. No problem. Thank you for having me. Thank you. There goes uh, Mike Bibby. Again, you know, that's an awesome story, right? That he's playing for the Grizzlies. 